Okay, so um, just to start off and give Isaiah, who's our editor, an idea of who everyone is when they first start, just um, tell us your name and what your role is within Freehold. Hi, my name is Asia Michael. I am the new superintendent in Freehold Township School District. Excuse me, no, I'm not, back up. Hi, I am Asia Michael. I am the new superintendent in Freehold Borough School District. Excellent, okay. All right, now that we got that out of the way. All right, Asia, can you tell us a little bit about how Freehold Schools are helping to build a healthier Freehold? Oh, absolutely. So Freehold Schools are helping to build a healthier Freehold uh, because it starts in the district. Uh, we know that school is a community, is the center of any community. Uh, so we know it's important for our teachers to understand the demographic, understand our students, so that they give them the education that they need in order to improve their lives. Um, so we give, we have a lot of professional development session for our teachers within this, within Freehold Schools uh, for them to be able to uh, address the issues. Because when we look at uh, racism and how it uh, affects our students, it's not an individual um, item, it's systemic. And we have to understand how that system works in order to break down those barriers. And we understand that it's collaborative. So we have to involve all stakeholders within the community uh, to work collaboratively to be able to address those issues. So helping students connect with resources, helping families, especially our port of entry families coming in who may not even speak the language, uh, but need those resources, connecting them with those necessary resources to not only um, help themselves, but also help their children and help their families. So that way we um, dispel those racist and systemic issues. Perfect. Um, and feel free to like, if you wanted to finish a thought and then stop and then start a new sentence within the same answer, you could always do that too. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about how Freehold was, say, 20 years ago versus today and what that looks like for a culture of health? Like, tell us how the families are benefiting from having the district the way it is now and what has helped us get there. Oh, absolutely. So from my understanding, uh, Freehold Borough Schools were really, I, I don't want to necessarily use the word segregated, but they were very uh, disjointed. Um, so they were far apart, severely underfunded, which we find in a lot of minority communities that the school districts are underfunded or were. Um, because of S2, we were able to uh, get more money, which now uh, we have uh, the appropriate flow that we can have resources. But years ago, and I'm not sure how far this goes back, maybe 20 years, um, there we didn't have the proper teachers to educate the students. Uh, the number of organizations that exist today within Freehold did not exist to help out because, again, it takes uh, a collaboration. Um, I know my husband's cousin uh, is a longtime resident of Freehold, and she consistently says how her, all her children went through the school system, and it wasn't as effective now. Even the education in the curriculum is more diverse, um, educating students on mental health and wellness. Um, because we've gotten the proper funding, we've been able to do that within our within the Freehold school system. Love that. Uh, let's see. How would you describe a family now, maybe versus in the past, as far as like level of comfortability or feeling safe? within the school system? Like, do you think that the school was a trusted resource back then versus the way that it is now? Can you talk a little bit to something like that? Sure, um, and again, I'm gonna use my husband's cousin as a reference. I think um, years ago, because of the lack of uh, support within the community, um, the lack of resources, um, there weren't the things that uh, the families needed to be educated and to receive the help they needed. Now, uh, with the benefit of Neighborhood Connections to Health, um, uh, Perform Care, those organizations are able to provide the resources that our families need. Um, all I have to do is pick up the phone and say, hey, we have a family who's needing whatever it is. And right away, within minutes, literally, uh, we are able to connect that family with the resources. And it doesn't matter if the family is um, a, a permanent citizen or a permanent uh, resident. They, there are no questions asked. 
if they're in freehold, they're part of the community and their help, which is phenomenal. And that didn't exist years ago. I love that. All right, um, along that same line, how do you feel a parent's input or voice is received at the schools? Like, do you use the family's um, input in any way to shape the way that you're creating policies and system within the school to make things better, more inclusive, more equitable? Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, absolutely. That's a great question. So we absolutely use parent voice uh, because they're one of our stakeholders. And not for nothing, it's it's what we want to see that the parents want for their children to be able to assist them. And they know their children better than we know their children, right? And they, they know what they need. Um, we have a, a a lot of resources that parents ask for, not by name necessarily, but they know what they need. So if we, by listening to um, them, uh, surveys, uh, we have town hall meetings. I have a, a session called Coffee and Conversation while I invite families in. Um, and just being able for, for them to talk freely about what they wanna see. And most of, most of the time we do implement those changes because it's how they need help. And even we have parent academies, which is a wonderful thing, where we teach parents all the great things about computers and what their, their students are learning just to help them and uh, make sure the students are successful in the future. Good, good. Um, parents as leaders, that's perfect. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, I do want to add one other thing. Yeah, one other thing that we have for parents also is we have uh, several language support services. We have a partnership with Brookdale uh, where they provide ESL classes for our parents and a GED program for free. And right now they have a 400 family wait list, but we made sure that our students, our parents were uh, on the top of that list because we wanna make sure they are able to succeed themselves. I love that. Yeah, it's definitely needing to include them in those discussions is like intricate too. Yes. Having change. Hmm. All right. So oftentimes when we think of health, Neighborhood Connections will say the big H and the little H. You may have heard us say this before. So um, the little H is access to health, right? Health appointments, going to see your doctor and getting the health health related resources that you need. But when you think of the big H, you think of mental health. You think of having a house to go home to, to feel safe, access to food, you know, job, transportation, all the things, the social determinants of health. Um which is what we're using it, calling it today, right? Um, do you feel that the families in Freehold um, had access to both the big and the little H today through the support from the schools versus back in the day? I know I'm somewhat asking similar questions in different ways, but it's helping to probe different responses in different ways. So yeah, of all course. Of it is good. And don't feel like if you have to repeat yourself in one way or another, like that's okay as well. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, so yes, I do think uh, families today um, have ac access, did you say access, to both the big H and the little H, the, the resource, not just the social resources to help, but also um, the supports for health, I think is what you said. Uh, today versus years ago, absolutely. Um, and I'll speak about it again. I don't think, and again, I wasn't here, but from my understanding, the access to resources weren't there within the community. Um, and because Freehold is, uh, primarily we have a lot of parents who don't have transportation. They can't get to where they need to go. Um, and this is going back to, um, speaking again about my husband's cousin, who's a lifetime resident in Freehold Borough. Um, she didn't have the access she needed to get to the appointments and the resources. But now there are so many different organizations and resources within Freehold Borough that it helps parents with the big H and a little H, um, which absolutely helps the students. And because the school districts are very, because Freehold Borough School District is very connected to those resources, we're able to get access and because the parents may not know. Um, so we uh, push information out via email. We text messages as soon as we get information, we send text blasts. Hey, guess what? We have, there's a, um, there's a food pantry this weekend and there's transportation to get there. Uh, we make sure they have the resources that they need uh, so that way that they, they can thrive and they'll have the supports they need to have uh, to be have health equity, to have a health equity. Perfect. And do you feel supported not only by the community and the different partners, but 
do you feel supported by Freehold in general um, to push forward some of these great initiatives that you talked about earlier, you know, the coffee conversations and, you know, making some changes based on the family's feedback, you know, like the municipal government um, and, you know, just the community as a whole, do you feel supported in the schools to kind of push all these things forward? Oh, absolutely. As the new superintendent in Freehold Borough Schools, I absolutely feel supported. I, I often joke because I'll go from one organization meeting to another and I see the same people, right? And it's uh, town councilmen who are there because they uh, support everything that's going on. They care about the town. They tear, care about the community. They care about the people. So they are on the boards of all these organizations. It's a great thing to see because I came from a place, uh, my a previous school district, where they said they were a community and they were not. And when I got to Freehold, I said, no, this is a community. Because when you actually put yourself out there um, and you're on every single organization or every single board to make sure that the families have the support they need, that's beautiful. And it's people like that and it's organizations like that that are gonna help people thrive. And that's what people need these days. You need access to resources. And as a school district, we know that I can go down the list and whatever I need, I can make a call and it's going to happen. So it's, it's, I, we absolutely feel supported in the school district. Cool. And that is authentic. I feel the same way. Like I live in brick, which is such a huge, huge town in ocean County. And I don't feel connected to this town at all. You know, I live <laughs> up here, but freehold, I feel like I know everybody there. I yeah. <laughs> and, call and then it's like, what do you need? Um, yes. It's yes. Cool. It's very cool. Yes. Um, okay. Those are like all the, like questions that I had and the talking points, but I always leave some space at the end, just if you wanted to make any statements and maybe cover something that I didn't ask you about or make a statement about anything at all that you think would help the application be stronger. Sure. So uh, one thing that we we strive, uh, or actually one thing that we feel, let me back that up. One thing that we are very pleased about is our push for equitable equi education and Freehold Borough Schools. Uh, we make it a point to make sure our curriculum is equitable, that we have supports for all of our students. Um, even if they can't speak a lick of English on uh, day one, they have the supports and resources that they need. Uh, we we're connected to community organizations because we know that these families need resources. And some of them don't have health insurance, but they, we know that we can call organizations like uh, Neighborhood Connections to Health, like Casa Freehold, like Open Door Freehold. And we can say, hey, Monmouth Acts. And we can say, hey, they don't have insurance, but this is what they need. How can you help us? And we're getting the help that we need. Uh, we make sure that our teachers understand where our students are coming from. So we have trauma-informed education, education so they can instill those strategies in those students. We also are very, very uh, focused on students' mental health, especially if coming from the pandemic. We want to make sure that we take care of their mental, their physical, their emotional and social, so that way they can thrive. Because if you don't take care of the full child, they're not gonna be successful. And the only way to uh, stop systemic racism is to deal with the policies. And so the board, Freehold Borough, Borough Board of Education is a main component in making sure that they have equitable policies to make sure every student is protected and can thrive and the school district. So it's just a great place to be. And because we have the community partners that we do, we're able to succeed and able to help make sure our students succeed. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that was like perfect. That's <laughs> up, like. You could have led with that. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been done a long time ago. Right, right. <laughs> See, that's why I'm glad I just open it up because then people can feel free to speak how they want to and then you cover the whole thing and just one should bang. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, no, I really, I really appreciate it. All jokes aside, I appreciate your testimony, you know, so valuable and everybody's perspective is going to make this thing big. So yes, hopeful yes. for, yes. You know, I, I don't know. I just, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm going to be super, super bummed if we don't get this, but you know, we'll keep you posted once I say okay. all the edits and gets us a whole video at once. I'll, I'll share it with everybody who contributed. And so. You know, if you're faith, if you're a faith empowered woman, say a little prayer. If you believe yes. in the universe, talk to it and tell it, you know, 20, 250,000 is coming our way. Yes, you got it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Asia. All Have right. a good Absolutely. night. Absolutely. Thank talk you. You too. All, All right. right. Bye -bye.